Okay, what's up guys? I know it's been a while since I reacted to a Fact Faction video. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just, you know, since working, I just... I probably would have reacted to their videos a long time ago. But since working, I really don't have the time for every, you know, YouTuber I've, I've reacted to. I don't really have the time of the day to try to find the videos, react to them and stuff. But, uh, you know, I was just scrolling. I was just trying to see, find as many YouTubers as I possibly can. And I started thinking, I'm like, you know, it's been a while since I reacted to a Fact Faction video. In my eyes, I feel like it's been a while. But uh, anyways, um, this is the video. This video is called Five Craziest Cults of All Time. I've never been in a cult. I have no plans on being in a cult. I don't even want to be in a clan. I don't even want, I don't want to be in any group, organization, weird stuff whatsoever. Clan, okay, maybe. I think I, I remember it was back in the day I was in an, uh, I was in an um, Halo Reach clan, and um, yeah, and then we they just, uh, yeah, I, I still remember that. It was uh, it was a guy. He's a YouTuber himself now, and um, his name is Elijah. I can't even think of his name, but I, I I need to you know I need to track him down, like give like reminisce on that old stuff, cause I remember yeah we played Halo Reach. We'll be doing like these uh, little get together clans and stuff, and we and then I think there is. Uh, we were supposed to make like a Halo Reach series, but we never did, and so I don't know what happened. It was, but yeah, it was um, it was that, and <laughs> it was just you know we just played like random games. It was yeah, it was Elijah, and then this other guy named Tyler, and I, I think that was like the only clan I think I was ever in on you uh, on like video game history whatsoever. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be talking about video games. They're gonna be talking about like cults crazy people people that do just the most weirdest stuff in cults i don't know like it's they just some they just be doing some weird stuff and it's kind of scary so uh let's see because fact faction they might find the most uh, um they might find the craziest of the craziest people it's fact faction i mean they find their stuff they find their things that they need if they make a video trust me they're gonna find what they need to find that's why their videos are so good and entertaining and things but anyways, let's get into this video. Everybody, make sure you go subscribe to Fact Faction. They have over 300,000 subscribers. Let's get them to 500,000. If you haven't already, make sure you go subscribe to them. Five of the craziest cults of all time. Children of God. Founded in 1968 by Christian minister David Berg, the Children of God were a religious group which blended free love attitudes with preparing for the second coming of Jesus. Berg was also referred oh. to as Moses David and King David by his followers, and he proclaimed to be the last and most anointed prophet of the end times. In 1974, the cult had over 4,000 members in 70 wow. countries. The group was most known for its law of love which contain controversial attitudes towards sex and sexuality, including those that encourage promiscuity, incest, and even the sexual abuse of children. That Berg's own is... stepson was sexually abused by adult women as a toddler, and the psychological damage led him to murder his former nanny and commit suicide when he grew older. Wow. Members of the Children of God were encouraged to have sex with non-members to recruit them. This activity was known as flirty fishing, and was eventually halted due to an increasing number of sexually that transmitted is... diseases within the group. Members were encouraged to take part in loving Jesus by imagining themselves joined by Jesus while they masturbated or took part in sexual intercourse. To avoid male homosexuality, the one practice the group forbade, male members were told to imagine themselves as women during these activities. As time passed, the Children of God went through a few name changes. It is now known as the Family International. Although Berg passed away decades ago, the group, now run by Berg's widow, Karen Zerby, is still extremely active and has its own website, social media pages, and an estimated 3,000 members around the world. Are you serious? Okay, let me just... That, okay, <laughs> I'm already creeped out and freaked out by this, you know, this video, these cults and stuff. That honestly, I, if I, and you know me, knowing me, they would probably would have asked me, you know, would you like to join the children of the um of God? And I just found like, you know, is this a church organization? Because I'm a Christian, so I found like, is this like a church or you know organization? Like, what is this? And then they say, you know, we're a cult. I probably would have, you know, just to be curious, see what's going on down there. Probably would have seen what's been going on. I'm just well, like, okay. 
I didn't got myself in a problem, and knowing they're gonna probably kill me if I leave. So <laughs> I just found like, you know what? I I remembered. I got to uh, do like, and I just I make up just random stuff. I just about like, you know what? I have to uh, you know, vacuum the grass. I have to um, clean a horse. I have to do something. I look, I can't be here right now. I I got YouTube videos to make. I haven't made none for the day, and probably before I even left to go somewhere, I probably would make like twenty videos. <laughs> so I just about like, look, I I got, I can't be here right now. I I got a curfew. They was like, but it's like it's in the afternoon. It's twelve in the afternoon. I'm like, I you know my curfew. It's it's at twelve oh one. I only got one minute to get back home and stuff. I, I would have left, okay? I just, I would have left because that cult is, yeah, they're crazy, all right. They're crazy. That's not normal. The Order of the Solar. Formed in 1984 by Joseph DiMambro and Luc Jure, this secret society saw itself to be based on the same foundations and ideals of the Knights Templar. Jure claimed to be both the reincarnation of one of the members of the original Order and of Christ himself. The Order was a doomsday cult that believed the end of the world was to arrive in the mid-1990s. It believed that upon their earthly deaths... I think I might have... I, you know, I don't know, because he said mid-1990s. Because I remember they said that when it was going to be year 2000, that that's when the world was going to end. And so, I don't know if it's cults like that that's starting those type of rumors, or if it's just random people. Because I remember they said that the world, yeah, they, I, I, didn't, well, I didn't remember. I was like, a, I was maybe like four or five years old when they, I think I was like four years old when, yeah, when they said that the world was supposed to end in 2000. Then I remember I was uh, 2012. That was like the biggest of them all that I've um, recognized. And uh, they said that, yeah, the world was going to end in 2012. Then I think it was supposed to end in 2013 or something. And it's like, you guys keep saying this. Look, nobody knows. It's going to randomly happen. That's it. The end of story with that, okay? It's going to randomly happen. Who knows? The world, we might all... all and the people that are saying that are probably not going to be alive to see the world end. So it's just really... You guys need to stop all of that. It's honestly, it gets annoying after a while when you hear that. It's like, can you just let the world be at peace, please? I, it's like, really, when the world ends, it'll end, okay? Whether you're alive or not, it's going to end, so... ...order were to be taken to a planet that orbited around the star Sirius. The cult had lodges in several countries where Freemason rituals took place, and had a sizable following. However, the group lost many of their followers after one member exposed the leaders and explained wow. how he was hired to fit electrical devices inside the inner sanctuaries that Jure used to project images, which tricked members into thinking he could conjure up spirits. Wow. Shortly after this reveal, Demambro ordered the man's three-month-old baby to be killed due to his resemblance to the Antichrist. He was stabbed multiple times with a wooden stake. Dang. Both parents were also murdered. In 1994, that in preparation is... for what Dimambro and Jure believed was to be the end of days, 53 members of the order were either killed or committed suicide, including both of the group's founders. In Switzerland, wow. many of the victims were discovered dressed in ceremonial robes and had plastic bags. That is heads. scary, man. A large number died from a gunshot to the head or asphyxiation, and some had been drugged. Following these incidents, in 1995, 16 more members of the cult were also murdered or committed suicide, wow. and their bodies were found in a star formation in the Vercors Mountains of France. Finally, a year and a half later, five more members died in a house fire in Quebec. That is, I just, you know, that's... I mean, look, that's these guys, I don't honestly know what their deal is and what their problem is. But it's just, you know, they think, oh, you, you know, the world's going to end, so I got to end my life. And it's just, I, that's just, I honestly, though, I, that's why it's just, you know, if you're, if you're thinking about joining a cult, I, it, look, it better be something for good. Like, it better be like a superhero cult. You're going out saving people's lives or something. Because it's, these type of things, it's like, man, that just, honestly, you have, like, trust for nobody out there. If they acting crazy like that, and it's just... Because they were like, the kid resembled Antichrist and was like, oh, well, we got to uh, kill him. And it's just, that's, that's honestly, that, that makes you just like, because they think, oh, I resembled the person. I'm like, no, you stay far away from me. I don't care what you think of me. 
I stay far away from you. You come at me with a wooden stick. I'm coming at you with a metal bat. I'm swinging like the World Series. So it's just, I suggest stay far away from me. Just stay far, far away from me. If you ain't one of them cults, do not touch me. Do not smell me. Don't look at me. Don't even think of me, okay? Don't even watch this video. I don't want no part of a cult whatsoever. I don't want them being subscribed. Because if you acting crazy like that, don't subscribe to me. Don't watch my videos. You don't have to like. You can dislike all you want. I stay far away from me okay just stay far away from me all right but anyways next one the heaven's gate i'm telling you man these people they're scary like they're scary crazy right now heaven's gate was a religious doomsday cult based in san diego founded by marshall applewhite and Bonnie another Nettles doomsday in the 1970s. one 70s the pair firmly believed they were the two witnesses described in the book of revelation and had been given higher level minds than other people Applewhite also believed that he was a descendant of Jesus Christ and believed in extraterrestrials and UFOs. It is also said that he had a history of checking himself into mental institutions. Wow. Nettles died in 1985 due to cancer, but Applewhite continued to recruit members and ran the organization himself. The Heaven's Gate lived communally in a large rented San Diego home, which they called their monastery. They funded their lifestyle by doing web design and owed a company called Higher Source. Like a video the group's game. main belief was that the earth was about to be recycled or wiped clean, and that the only way they could survive was to leave. In 1997, 39 members of the Heaven's Gate cult were found dead in their San Diego mansion wow. after the group followed through with their mass suicide plan. Marshall Applewhite convinced 38 of his followers to take their own lives in the belief that they would board a spacecraft following the hale Bob comet. The group ingested an overdose of phenylbarbital mixed with applesauce and vodka. Many of the dead were discovered lying neatly in their own bunk beds with a square wow. piece of purple cloth. What kind of events? How are you going to be in a cult wearing Nike? Those look like Nike shoes. I don't know, but it's like how? That, uh, well, I guess you wore still want to stay fancy. Sweatpants, brand new black and white Nike shoes and wore wristbands with the words Heaven's Gate Away Team written on them. Shortly prior to the mass suicide, the Heaven's Gate created a video and recorded their final interviews. Wow. Bizarrely, they all appeared to be happy and excited with what they were about to do. And the ones we have worked so hard to represent are our older members, T and Bill, who are from the next level. Then you can be sure the next level is watching. Because by your belief, you allow them a chance to save the part of you that may become a child in our father's house too, at a later time. If that is where you want to be, you know, forcing me to do this is something that I know deep inside is right for me. And I feel like that's important. Uh, the next level gives everybody uh, their rights. They're very rights conscious. And it's like you end your whole life. You didn't live. I'm very happy to, to be here. Do you have any thoughts about this? Uh, what's next book? Uh, the only thoughts that I have is the preparation that I've made to separate from the vehicle. Leave it all behind. There's nothing here for me. We were kept blind ignorant here, which is kind of the state. That Let me just pause real quick. Like, when these people are in cults and stuff, like, they, I, cause it's like, you know, they just, they, I don't know if they just, like, erase their past life, like, their families, their friends, all of that, like, do they just, what, how does that work? Like, do they still work, or do they just, like, how do they earn money? How do they buy food? What do they do to survive and stuff? Cause I, I think when you're in the cult, you just erase outside life and you're just within that cult like you don't do nothing so it's just how does that like how does that work for them like it's it's do they work do they not like how does that all work out for them but i i like to know I mean, somebody you know, comment you know, below let through, me know if you could well, i'll just google it myself see how simple this is to us because we don't identify as these bodies we know they're not us i don't know if that helps you any but if you could just Get into our headspace a little bit and just see how happy we are and uh you know how strong will we are about doing this and committed to this i mean i'm nothing without my older members being though and I, I just can't wait to get up there with them wow i don't have much more to say thank you very much wow that's scary man how there's like people actually and there's probably people till this day that's acts like that they just they have like this weird fantasy and it's just i look like i said i'm a christian but i'm i wouldn't sound anything like these guys okay 
Like it's just you know I I believe in all of that stuff. Okay, everything about it, and it's just like I have a strong faith in it and stuff. But I wouldn't have it go to a level to where I think, oh, if I end my life, I'm going to be like this new level person, or I'm gonna be on this going, I'm gonna be on this side of this comment. You know, like it's a bus or something, like it's a metro bus. Like I'm gonna be sitting on top of it. Like no, I don't that 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 type of stuff. I'm like yeah, you could just. I'm like look. Well, I feel like, this is what I feel like. I feel like this is what God wants from all of us. Live our life. Be happy no matter what, okay? And that's it. Live life and be happy. But you doing this all like, oh, no, I want to be on this comment. I want to go. And it's like, that's honestly, that's why probably cults and people, they be getting made fun of. I, I'm made fun of. I ain't seen TV shows where people that ain't made fun of these cults. Because it's like, you guys are seriously the craziest people of all times. Like, it's it's weird how crazy they are. And it's just in their heads, they think it's so normal. They think it's the most normal thing in the world. I, man, these cults. The Westboro Baptist Church is an extremist hate group that consists of about 40 members who are mostly extended family of its former leader. The church was formed in 1955 as a branch of the East Side Baptist Church and was headed by Fred Phelps, who severed his relationship with the original church after his church was properly founded. Phelps was known for using fear and abuse to enforce his power, and his wow. children and grandchildren were raised to believe the church's teachings. Westboro is best known for its anti-LGBT and homophobic beliefs wow. that have compared members of the gay community to Nazis. The church's website is titled, God Hates wow. Phelps, and this phrase is thought to be its tagline. The church caught the attention of the public when it began. It's to like, look, ministry. I, it's just, God loves all his people, okay? It's just, that's how I feel about that. He loves all his people. He created them. So he, regardless of who they are, what they do, he loves them. But it's like, to make something like that, it's like, look, okay, whether you're a lesbian, gay, tranny, as long as you're living life and you're happy, I feel like that's the key to just life right there. So it's just living life like that where you have a hatred for a community group and because of your beliefs. Yeah, and it's just, it's, and I, I've, I'm, that, that would probably be the funniest thing ever. Let's say that Adidas suit that he has on right now, let's say that was designed by a gay man or a lesbian woman. What would he do? Okay, because it's like there's a picture of you with that sign saying <laughs> saying that, and it's just you you're wearing a suit designed by a gay or a lesbian woman. So it's just it's how how do you live? Like it's it's I'm telling you, man, these people. That's why I never you ain't you don't ever have to worry about me. If I'm gonna, if you ever hear of me joining a cult, it better be a storyline to a movie because I'm if I'm actually participating in this, I want you guys to kidnap me, put a camera in front of me, and force me to make YouTube videos or do whatever possible, play video games, do whatever to get me back to my normal life. Cause this this ain't normal. This is not it's normal. Consisted of members of the church holding controversial protests while holding up signs such as God hates Jews and thank wow. God for AIDS. These protests have been held for what? seemingly random reasons, from picketing celebrities' concerts to attacking industries known for hiring LGBT staff to even holding a protest at the funeral of an LGBT youth. The church has also picketed the funeral of a Marine who was killed in action while serving in Iraq, holding up a sign that read, wow. Thank God for dead soldiers and you're going to hell. The church believes that the widely negative response to its anti-Semitic and homophobic activities are proof Oh of my god, this reminds me. They this, oh my god, this reminds me of when I was at a uh, school. And this was uh, when I was at, uh, when I was like my last year, my senior year of high school. And uh, these like, these church people, they were, it was after school too. And they were saying, like, I think they had a sign like that saying, God hates gays. I can't remember. They had some crazy signs. And I don't know if it was that. If it wasn't, then it wasn't. But if it was, then it was. But I remember they had these signs. They were standing all at the sidewalks waiting for us to leave and stuff, holding up these signs. And I'm like, you're at a school. Okay, you're at a school having this up. And I'm thinking to myself, if there's any kid inside the school that acts like this i do not want to go to that school i would seriously no i just about like either i'm switching schools or i'm leaving all completely like it's just i made it this far to school i feel like i didn't learn enough i will not i refuse to go to a school or i refuse to work with a person do anything whatsoever okay that's what i'm saying if you're in those cults 
I don't talk to me, don't look at me, don't do it. I have no business with you and you have no business with me. I don't want no parts of any cults whatsoever. And let's and let's just see how many likes and dislikes this video has. 35 dislikes and it's probably some people inside of a cult too. It's probably some people in a cult that acts like this and then they just they're mad at the fact that it's probably the guy it's like you know I'm pretty sure I would like to just ask the guy the narrator behind this video or the creator behind this video how do you feel about all of this because chances are he's gonna either he's gonna probably feel the same way if not stronger okay he's gonna have a lot more to say than I do so were 57, it's like, man, these days. people are crazy. Due to their extremist activities, members of the church have been banned from Canada and the UK. Despite all the negative publicity and the death of former wow. leader Fred Phelps, the church is still going strong today, <laughs> where they still protest and make accusations, including one that US President Barack Obama is the Antichrist. They continue to I, carry out hate. You know, I, if I, I had to say, if these guys, like, if I was, like, having a meetup with you guys, like, if I decide to have a meetup with all of my fans, and they just came and crashed it, I'm just saying right now, I'm bringing a paintball gun, okay, I'm bringing a paintball gun, I'm going to have, I'm gonna have at least, like, maybe three, I'm gonna have a backpack, at least three, about three paintball guns fully loaded, and I'm just gonna spray on these guys. I'm about like I'm spraying that woman right inside her mouth. <laughs> I'm just then I'm gonna hit somebody in their gut. I'm going to just go crazy with it. I'm gonna look at a couple of my fans. Be like, here you go. Here's your paintball gun. Here's your paintball gun. We just gonna spray these guys because it's like no, you ain't gonna be over here doing stuff like that at the in the middle of the road and stuff. I'm trying. Just seriously, you do I see people like that. It's like, man, you guys, you have nothing. I'd rather deal with like YouTube haters. I'd rather deal with Glenn Gregan, Minnesota Boy, I anybody out there, okay, that robot character. I'd rather deal with all of them put together. These guys, they seem like the type of person that just kill you. And it's just it's scary that people are out there living like that. It's super like scary. Other religions, some branches of Christianity. Jews, soldiers, the media, and numerous countries through their website. The People's Temple. The People's Temple of Sounds the Disciples crazy. of Christ was founded by Jim Jones in 1955. It was a new religious movement of Christianity, which also worked in elements of socialist politics and liberation theology. Jones also emphasized racial equality, which earned him a sizable African-American following. At its best, okay. the People's Temple had a massive 20,000 members. The group thrived in San Francisco for years, with churches and buildings to its name, before a media expose threatened to be released concerning the temple's inner workings. This included claims that the group used fear and self-imposed humiliation in its community and accusations of sexual abuse and kidnapping. Wow. In order to escape, Jones moved his congregation to a commune known as Jonestown in Guyana which he had been building for a few years and which he referred to as paradise. And it's like just, man, I feel like this is like another form of a life being taken. It's you being those cults, I feel like you just, you honestly, you just have no life whatsoever. You can't live, you can't be happy, you can't do anything. In 1978, a congressman investigating the abuse claims regarding the temple decided to take a plane to Jonestown along with former temple members, oh. several journalists, and other crew. However, they were killed by temple security guards before they could leave. Wow. That same day, Jim Jones ordered the majority of his congregation to drink a grape-flavored drink laced with cyanide. Members of the group that refused to drink were injected with the poison or forced to drink at gunpoint or even wow. shot. This resulted in the deaths of 918 people, including 276 children. Dang. Jim Jones didn't drink the poison himself, but instead died from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Today, this event is best known wow. as the Jonestown Massacre. It's like, these are like terrorists in a way, man. These people are as insane. That's it, man, that's it. That is crazy. That's honestly, I, I have to say, this is Fact Factions, one of their craziest videos. I'm telling you, this was, this video, I don't know how people live like that, 
I never in my life want to live like that. I don't want to be involved with a cult or anything like that whatsoever, but I swear, man, it's like, it's stuff like that. It makes you just, you know, it, it makes you scared because as you could just be walking down the street and then these cults people just come up out of nowhere and then they just start acting crazy towards you because of the way you look, the style of your clothing, and it's just like and it's just and it's just and the thing is these cults are still like this i think they're saying like, some of these cults are still living on and stuff and it's like that but that last one i have to say that last one was pretty crazy and stuff but uh I, they were all like equally crazy and things i have to say it was probably the last one and then the one with the people um like that 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 was ba like that Baptist church I, I think it was that one but um yeah it was uh it was that and then uh the um the last one those are the two craziest them saying that God hates soldiers and then thank God for crippled soldiers and dead soldiers I was like that's that type of stuff because it's like look I'm really into you know the military stuff I support the military a hundred percent Navy Air Force Marines army all of that okay and all and I you know seeing stuff like that and then you see soldiers coming back from a long fight and it's just you know they come back they have to have you know a um a uh, fake or oh, like what they, like you know what do they call it? like I don't know like a like not an implant but you know a, a fake arm okay and a fake arm fake leg I don't know I don't even know what to call it one of like the robot looking stuff and things but anyways they gotta come back home with that and it's sad because it's just you know they they had a normal life and it's just it taken away from them to protect us to protect and it's like to protect them in a way too it's like these soldiers they could have just very well just say well we ain't going over there and then these guys come over they kill off that whole cult they kill off that whole all of them people and it's like these soldiers then protected your life and you're over here saying stuff like that's why it'd be that and that's exactly why i said i would probably would have did a paintball gun drive by on these guys probably would have just went had my friend like open up the sunroof and then just got out and then just you know two paintball guns just going crazy on them and it's like i ain't gonna go like legit like get a full-blown gun that's why i said paintball gun like it ain't gonna you know do a whole lot of damage but it's probably gonna leave some marks and bruises and things and so <laughs> that's just that like you know i ain't the type of person i go out and kill a person for something like that just just to leave some marks so it like you know when they look back at that they're like okay this is i know why i got this to at least knock some knowledge and some sense in their head because it's like you acting like that and it's like you in a cult and stuff i hope any of my friends i hope i have no friends that are in cults or they have plans or they in the future will join the cult i hope they don't I would try my best to talk them out of it, but if they start acting crazy towards me, I'm like, look, do what you got to do. But I, you, look, you contact me on Facebook saying, hey, you want to be in the cult? I'm going to be like, nope, I, I got stuff to do. Okay, they're, they're like, it's not going to take that long. It's just, it, it is, it is going to take that long. I got, I got stuff to do. I am, I'm not trying to be in no cult whatsoever. Okay, I just like, like I, I got to do something. Okay, it's like I've been making up stuff. Like I got to walk a dog, but you don't have a dog. It's, it's, it's my imaginary dog. I, I just, I felt like I'm, I'm not gonna be in your guys's cult. End of story. Okay, so yeah, it's stuff like that. It's sad people live like that and things. And it's just, you know, they can't even live their life normal anymore. And it's just them killing themselves, thinking they're going to be on a comet or they're going to go to the promised land and heaven and all of that. And it's just, I know, it's the, I don't know where I got promised land from. <laughs> but uh, it's just like they think it's just, you know, them ending their lives. They're going to go and make it to heaven a quicker way. And it's like, no, that's not how you want. No, living your life happy and stuff. That's just how you make it in things. It's just, that's just how you make it. In my eyes, I feel like that's how it is. But, you know, killing yourself, it's where, that's, uh-uh. No, it's just, you you ain't going to go nowhere from that. Uh-uh, no, you, you're not. It's not going to happen. So, I, it's, I don't even know what to think of these cult people. I wish the best for them. I hope some of them realize what they're doing and then they just stop, okay? And then, you know, just change up their lifestyle and things. But anyways, um, this was definitely an interesting video by Fact Faction. I said, man, it was crazy. I think they got another video. Um, it's like a, a shocking uh, Twitch live stream stuff or live stream things. And I'm check that out. 
But uh, yeah, this was by far the craziest video I think I didn't seen of Fact Faction. It was good, but it was just the stuff, man. How did they find out like this? They just like, man, I, I have to say it's pretty good that how they do this. Um, I, I don't know if they ever done like an unsolved crimes or, you know, craziest cases or, um, you know, craziest books or just I'm like throwing out ideas, you know, like, you know, like car chases. I don't know. Like they just do something because it's like I, I honestly would like to see a lot from Fact Faction. They don't I don't know. They don't upload all the time, like a daily schedule thing like I'm doing. But it's just when they do upload, I'm like, OK. I know this is going to be a good video. So, anyways, yeah, make sure you go subscribe to Fact Faction. I remember when they said, I was, I was happy when they subscribed to me. I was, well, I, it, not like happy, they're like, oh, I got a new subscriber. But it was like, it, it was cool that they subscribed to me and stuff. But uh, I was just like, you know, it, it was pretty cool and things to see, you know, they, they like my video or my reaction to their videos. I love their videos. Their videos are amazing. I love watching their videos. And it's like, I hope they have, one day have a TV show. I would like to, I'd sit down, just grab me some food, just be sitting down watching some of the craziest things that they can honestly talk about and stuff. So anyways, um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That, that would be the day. I, you know, to like, we could like, if they collaborate or if I did the narration to one of their videos, that would be the day. Okay. I will honestly, like, I, I think once i made it a few times throughout my one i think once throughout my life i've narrated a video but uh if, if fat faction if they was all like I, I i probably would do it it was like give me the craziest video you guys can possibly think of all right and i would do the narration to it but anyways make sure you go subscribe to a fact faction they got like 303,000 subscribers they need to have more they should have like a million subscribers past that 10 million okay so anyways, and that being said, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you're new, please like and subscribe and peace.